we talk about this inside? Oh, really? You... That's it. Walk away like you always do. Hey, you! Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. Yeah, man. I, I guess so. Why not? Thanks, man. Just let me grab my favorite iron. She's not getting that. What a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. You just gonna leave your shit all over the driveway? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? Franklin, man. You're Good to meet you. I'm Castro. Oh, okay. What is that? It, um, Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. So what was that all about? Hey! Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And do you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? Maybe in the last century it was. Yeah. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. So let me get this straight, dog. You're pissed because she's accusing you of cheating when she doesn't know you cheated, even though your ass have actually cheated. Exactly. It's like a lack of trust. She'd be accusing me of it even if I hadn't. I've never done anything at that golf club except play golf. And that's the God-honest truth, which is more than I could say about her spin class instructor. In fact, I wonder if her fat ass is admissible as evidence in court. Because if she's doing that much spinning, it should... If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. Because if she's doing that much spinning, it should be like a bowling ball by now. Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days. You just turned this into a bucket!
here, my friend. Give it up! Make it easy on yourself! You fucker! Reinforcements will be here any minute! Next one goes between the eyes! You ladies like wearing clown face? I have changed my ways, all right? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just gonna live here. I'm gonna run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon. The old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway. We, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a drop. I run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard and East LS at approximately 15:30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So we're going to this airfield in Blaine County and back in this chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, 
All you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank and see if there's anything that stands out. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still. Shit. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little... T, L. We're coming up to the front of the bank. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man, I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No. Seriously, man. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was, but now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's... Hey! A crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid with respect. He's changed, all right? He writes now. All right, we're here. Only one security guard. Looks like a normal consumer bank up here. We're going down to the back entrance, see where the gold comes out. Emails. He's educated himself inside. And he'll be a valuable part of the team. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? I will. But I gotta talk to you, too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael, then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. Just went 1330. We got two hours before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Mike's observations fit with your scheme so far, yeah. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point! Don't want him jumpy for the breakout! Ah, yeah! It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man! Those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, if 
might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Hammer, how you doing? Expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They'll take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. Okay, I'm... Okay. 
You looking? Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feel pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army. Okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. <laughs> 